January's back-to-back -back atmospheric rivers have filled reservoirs but also have caused flooding. And some are questioning whether the rain was caused by water seeding. Last month, Eyewitness News talked with the Santa Ana Watershed Project Authority about its water seeding project. And our Eyewitness News reporter Leticia Juarez was in Orange County to find out what's really to blame. With two recent back-to-back -back atmospheric rivers this month, the Santa Ana Watershed Project Authority has been in a holding pattern with its cloud seeding pilot project. In fact, they've had to suspend operations since February 1st due to all the rain blanketing Southern California. Yeah, we're very interested in the safety of cloud seeding, both from, say, a flooding point of view. So we have suspension criteria in place. So there are certain storms that are so large we would not cloud seed. So we don't want to contribute to any flooding. Jeff Hosier with the Santa Ana Watershed Authority spoke to Eyewitness News in January about safety regulations in place for the two-month-old project at the time. The water agency is exploring ways to combat drought with cloud seeding, which involves using existing storm clouds to increase rain output, but it has its limits. You're not creating a storm. That's one of the myths. You, you can't create a storm. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The organization also monitors cloud seeding across the U.S. Tardy says cloud seeding works when water is already in the air, but it needs a particle for the water to form a droplet before it can fall to the surface. Those particles can be anything from dust to pollution, and in this case of cloud seeding, silver iodide. Our atmosphere is full of air pollution and different types of chemicals, full of it. And uh, I don't know of silver iodine being any more particularly dangerous than, than anything that's either naturally or unnaturally in the atmosphere. A 2016 study found the amount of silver iodide used outside a laboratory setting too low to induce a toxicological effect, as have other studies dating back to the 1970s. So does cloud seeding cause flooding? Is it responsible for damaging rain? Is silver iodide a harm to our health or environment? The science and the experts say no. The real question is, does it work? In my opinion, it's going to be very difficult to show um, the effectiveness of, of cloud seeding because we commonly see different rainfall and snowfall totals within two miles of each other. The Santa Ana Watershed Project Authority cloud seeding pilot project is attempting to show a 5 to 15 percent increase in precipitation. That is, if it gets a chance to. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.